Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. Welcome to the Great Debaters Contest. We are traversing the country looking for the very best of debate. And this week we find ourselves in Nakuru County. I am Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Nyumbok. Today we have Ernesto Boys versus Goshen Sacred Girls. Their motion is renewable forms of energy should be subsidized by the government. Who will be the victor? Let's we'll get the debaters on stage and see. First proposer, you have three minutes. I am Sean Gatia Kalvahar from the outstanding Ernesto Boys Lanette. The name is unique. Proposing the motion that says renewable forms of energy should be subsidized by the government. So what do we mean by renewable forms of energy? These are the forms of energy that are not exhaustible and are naturally occurring. For example, wind, sun and water. We have hydroelectric power and other stuff. And what do we mean by subsidized by the government? By subsidized by the government, we mean catering for part of the production of the commodity cost by the government, saying that it reduces the cost of the production. This drives me to my first point, which is it creates employment. When energy is cheaper, businesses and institutions using the energy will expand and flourish, increasing employment. And once uh, employment is increased, the crime rates in the society will reduce and it will increase people's living standard. And that is what we want. That is what we want to have in the society. To my second point, affordability. Compared to other forms of energy, for example, coal and nuclear power, renewable forms, uh, renewable forms of energy are cheaper to start and to maintain. When we say they're easy to start and maintain, it means that for us it will be a win-win situation for both the government and both the country. And we won't need to depend on other countries to support us or to help us in each and everything that we're doing. We will be able to cater for ourselves and we will be able to help other people in the society. We will become among the developing countries in the state. Thank you. Goshen girls, you have three minutes for your opening statements. Renewable forms of energy refer to the forms of energy that do not get depleted. What do I mean, what do I mean by this? These are the forms of energy that after use have the ability to reappear. What is subsidized? To subsidize is to lower the cost of something in order to enable an individual or an organization to pay for it. What is government? Government is the body in charge of control of a nation or a state, or rather better said, it's the people who are in charge of controlling a state. I may not be blessed in height, but I am blessed in sense. From the Goshen Sacred Girls High School, Damaris Karanja stands firm to oppose this motion that states, renewable forms of energy should be subsidized by the government. The government has already done enough Take an example, the government has zero rated the tax of import duty. What do I mean by this? The government has removed value added tax on renewable sources of energy, equipment and accessories. Do you want us to burden our dear government? Don't you realize they've already done enough? On to my next point, we need revolution solutions and programs, meaning that we need the young people to be more involved for sustainability. And what do I mean by sustainability? Sustainability is making the, natur the natural resources, the natural forms of energy more friendly to the environment. On to my third point. We have more important things to do. What am I trying to say? Kenya has more debts to, play, to pay. Kenya can fund IDP camps, build hospitals, before we think, and I repeat, think of funding these renewable sources of energy. 
Don't you realize that when we fund these renewable sources of energy, we are incurring losses since it increases the government budget? To my next point, it reduces the employment opportunities in Kenya. We are here complaining that the job opportunities are low, while you're here telling me that we should subsidize these renewable forms of energy. Don't you realize that if we subsidize them, we'll have more machines, and hence, less people will be required for labor. During the production of some of these sources of energy, for example, the production of geothermal power, we can have causes of health hazards. For example, during the production of geothermal power, ammonia gas and sulfur two oxide are produced, which causes poor health to the citizens. We do, we do not really require more diseases. Thank you. We'll hear rebuttals now. Proposers, you have three minutes. The Nesta boys, Lanette, I belong to them. I'm Rex Vin James. Strongly proposing the motion in the House today, I definitely tend to disagree with the first opposer who has just misled the House by informing us strongly that the government has done enough. No. The government has not done enough since we are still importing uh, power from our neighboring country, Uganda. We import 20% of the power used in the country. On to my first point of proposing the motion in the House today. Efficient, this efficient land utility when we plant these plants of renewable sources of energy. For instance, we have the geothermal power, we have the hydroelectric power stations. They tend to utilize the land properly, the land that has not been used properly, or the land that is waste land. By waste land, I mean the unproductive land. Basing uh, my argument on that the country, Kenya, its backbone on economy is based on agricultural production. Example of an unproductive land is an arid area that is not suitable for agricultural production, nor is it suitable for settlement. Therefore, in case these plants are located or situated in those areas that are not agriculturally or settlemental uh, suitable, then we will be utilizing the land. Of great importance is the economy, the economy in which the government is so much striving to raise its standards, which is one of the main goals of the government in power today, is raising the economy of the country. Therefore, if these plants are placed in this unproductive lands, then the land will be productive and therefore, uh, basing my argument on a fact, a geothermal plant covers 3.5 kilometers and produces one gigawatt of electricity energy, while a coal plant, which produces an renewable form of energy, covers that two kilometers and provides one gigawatt of electric energy. Therefore, with a renewable form of energy, we save 28 kilometers squared of land. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes. Okay, as we all know, no machine can do what one ordinary man can. I'm Lillian Nyseran from Goshen Sacred Girls, opposing this motion. You've talked of jobs being less. When they bring in machines to do the work, they will not need people to do anything there. There will be only like one man to operate the machines. What will happen to the 100, 100 men, rather, who are actually going there to work? Well, if the government subsidizes, one, the renewable sources, it will be making a point, a conclusion that renewable sources are actually better than non-renewable sources, making it interfering in the free market. We need to make our own choice. 
Do you want renewable sources? Go for it. Do you want non-renewable sources? Go for it. But if they come and subsidize the price of one, it will mean that I'll only be using non-renewable sources. What? It will be meaning that it will use the, the renewable sources only. What will happen to those people who have machines that can only be operated by the non-renewable sources? They'll be disadvantaged. Another thing, we have nature. I love nature. And fishes are nature. Some of the some of the fish species, like the salmon, migrate upstream. What will happen if the government goes to a river and constructs a dam? As we all know, a dam starts at the base of the river. That will lead to the obstruction of the river. Hence, it will interfere in the aquatic habitat of the fishes that we have. We're not against renewable sources. But what you're saying is that the government should not take part to enable the free market of, if you want the renewable, you get them. If you want the non-renewable, you also get them. Let's have a free market whereby you don't have to rely on one. Because if the government tends to reduce them, to reduce the cost, of the renewable sources. I'm so sure, because Kenyans tend to believe that if things are made easier for them, they don't, they don't think twice, they go for them. Thank you. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. Thank you, audience. The proposers have been challenged that they said that uh, they defined wasteland as unproductive land, yet said that the government could get resources from this same land. So are they not contradicting themselves? And the opposition have also been taken to task over uh, the cost of renewable energy. Is it not cheaper in the long run for the government to subsidize renewable energy as opposed to importing electricity, for example? We'll have them respond. Proposal number three, you have three minutes. Addressing the floor is Rafael Megwe from the Anesta High School. I've come to answer the questions brought forth by students of Molo High School. Well, you've asked what relation, how can we get energy from a wasteland, yet we call it unproductive. And I'm going to ask the, another question to you. Is there a place on this earth where the sun does not shine? Is there a place where the wind does not blow? We can harness energy from the wind, from the sun, from the earth itself. We talk of wastelands in terms of if a place is called a wasteland, it cannot be used for agriculture, nor can it be used for settlement. I want to correct my opposers first of all. They said the government has not done enough, and they because they are removing duty on energy we import, you say they've done enough. Now, and I'm going to say, instead of importing energy and removing taxes on that energy, she didn't we subsidize the energy we produce so that we can maximize the energy we produce. We give employment to the people in our country. We are able to produce energy on ourselves and not rely on oil that we import, which is non-renewable, or importing other renewable sources of energy. This form of energy gives a lot of job opportunities. When you subsidize energy, you give more potential to the farms that create this energy allowing them to employ more people. And if more energy is produced in a country, you're able to have businesses, farms, and industries flourishing. 
When you have this, you have more people working for you, more people earning their pay. You have higher standards of living in a country. So I believe when you subsidize energy, you're able to bring this country forward rather than removing funds from them. Um, and to another point, when you say that non-renewable energy is better than renewable energy, it, it, contra in, it contradicts itself because renewable energy will never end. As I've said, the sun will always shine, the wind will always blow. Therefore, we'll always have energy from the solar energy sector and from the wind. However, if you look at some non-renewable sources of energy, like oil, it becomes depleted once it is mined. For example, in Dubai, oil reserves ended. And now Dubai is leaning on to other sectors of the economy just to try to keep them on their feet. Um, thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes to respond to the audience. In nursery school, I will start the alphabetical order. That is A, B, C, D, and E. But I got the interest in the letter E. Yunis Kaguren Jeroge is my name. The question asked was why should we, uh, the government should subsidize these renewable forms of energy? Rather, so the answer to the question is do you prefer dying of hunger or earning prestige because of the renewable forms of energy? That is the answer to the question. The proposers talk of I belong to them. Let me tell you, this is not a competition of Shake Your Bamba or Rambo Kanambo. We are talking facts and reality. And to my first point, there'll be increased, there'll be increased debts since the government will have to lend some money from other foreign countries. And what are we doing to the economy of Kenya? Do you want more and more debts? Do you want burdens to the further generation? Ladies and gentlemen, enough is enough. Taxes will increase because in Kenya we say there is no free lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, when these government subsidizes the renewable forms of energy. What will happen to the common mona inchi? The taxes will increase so that the money can go back to the account it came from. And to my third point, when the government realizes that there is a certain form of energy in a certain place, those people will be forced to get out of that place and move to another land displacement of people is that what you want for your fellow kenyans is what is that what you want for your fellow communities ladies and gentlemen we are not a, we are not talking about earning prestige we are not talking about earning pride what you are talking about is favoring the wanjikos that is the common monanchi i rest my case <laughs>we don't need to become refugees. We need to become the ones helping people. So as a democratic country, we have a free will. Cross over to the proposing side and let's stick hand in hand with the government and let us have renewable sources of energy subsidized in our country. Thank you. Opposers, you have one minute as well. Judge Baina, being a former teacher, would actually tell us that in a classroom, there are people who don't totally understand, but there are some who do. I don't blame them for totally not understanding or getting the essence of the government, not getting involved. Let's have a free market where I take what I want and you have what you want. 
Thank you. Anesta Boys Lanet. Sean, I love your stats. You're a commendable or rather good debater. You have stage presence. The only thing is you only utilized two minutes. You didn't make use of one minute, which is enough to build a good case for your team. Nonetheless, it was a fair start for your, for your team. James, you're a good speaker, but now this is the problem. One, you read a lot. That was a problem. Two, limited cross-examination. They said a lot, which could have been cross-examined. Raphael, you're a good debater, but there is a bit you need to do, a little bit more rather you need to do in order to improve on your debating skills. Otherwise, from your team, it was a fair presentation. Goshen, sacred girls. I'll start with you, Damaris. Good definition of terms. You took us through the terms very well, and that was good. Um, and good submissions. I'd, I'd say fairly good submissions. Lillian, in terms of all the aspects that we look at as ju in judging style and presentation, mastery of language, your passion and conviction, mastery of topic and coherency of argument, I would only underscore you on the mastery of topic because I thought on all the other areas you're good, okay? That simply means you're a debater. All you need to do is take the facts that you have, organize them so that there's clarity in all that you're saying. Eunice, you're a good speaker, very passionate as well. That means you have all it takes as well. But all the best, that was commendable. Thank you. Rex, a little mic control will help. So you need to learn how to hold the mic well for clarity of discourse. Uh, Sean, once again, make good use of all the time that you have so that you can present all your points. And for Raphael, learn to project your voice a bit more and also be more passionate uh, on your points. As for the ladies, you are all very bold and confident, um, quite eloquent, but once again, be very careful. That situation of Bam Bam was very inappropriate. And Mr. Leonard boys have 65%. Please give them a round of applause. Goshen Secret Girls, you are awarded 66%. You are our winners for the debate. That was a spirited debate indeed, as the point difference reflects. Thank you to both teams for a wonderful job, and thank you for tuning in and taking the time to watch. Find us on Twitter at Great Debaters EA and on all other social media platforms. I have been your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Nyombok. Catch you next time. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom Mpesa.